shop I'd like a loaf of bread he boomed I'm sorry what did you say asked Mrs. Crumb pretending not to her I'd like a loaf of bread Mr. Nice shouted I'm sorry said Mrs. Crumb, putting her hand to her. Uh, can you speak up a bit, please? A leg, a loaf of bread, uh, oh, Mr. Nicer. That can't hurt you, replied Mrs. Crumb. Mr. Nicer 
gave up and went out. Mr. Nicer went into Mr. Bacon's shop and left a piece of meat. He boomed. Mr. Bacon pretended not to notice. I'd like a piece of meat, Mr. Nicer shouted. Did you say something? asked Mr. Bacon. I said, I'd like a piece of meat, oh, Mr. Nicer. Beg your pardon, said Mr. Bacon. Mr. Nicer gave up, went out, went home, and went to bed. Feeling ever hungry. The day after, Mr. Nicer tried again. He walked into Mrs. Crump's shop. I like a loaf of bread. He boomed. A what? Asked Mrs. Crump. Mr. Nicer started shouting. At the top of his voice, I love of. And then he stopped. And then he thought, and he said quietly, I'd like a loaf of bread, please, Mrs. Crumb. Mrs. Crumb smiled. Certainly, she said. Then Mr. Noiser went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I'd like a piece of meat, he boomed. Did you say something? asked Mr. Bacon. Yes. I did, shouted Mr. Nicer, and ever, ever top of his voice. I said, I like, ah, and then he stopped, and he thought, and he said quietly, I like a piece of meat, please, Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon smiled, my pleasure, he said. So carrying his mitts and his bread, Mr. Nice has set off home up the hill. And then he stopped. And then he thought. And then do you know what he did? He tipped her very quietly. A tipped her was something Mr. Nice had never tried before. It was fun. Mr. Nicer arrived at his front door. He put out his hand to open the door and then he stopped and he thought and then Tina what she did. He opened the door very gently and very quietly and stepped inside and then he shut the door very gently Ever quietly and ever gently were two things Mr. Nicer hadn't tried before either. It was fun too. And you know something? From then until now, Mr. Nicer isn't anything like as nice as he used to be. And you know something else? The people of Wobble Town are delighted. Especially Mrs. Crumb and Mr. Bacon. The two of them were now feeling ever pleased for themselves. And then do you know something else? Mr. Nicer smiled. Out of a smile. Shh. And that's the end of this story. Told, I mean.